Good morning all, Camelback 3.0, oh, coming to you this Friday morning, November, uh, December 8th, <laughs> month, uh, almost a month uh, behind, December 8th, we're looking at Window Traders market profile of the ES and the NQ, so we have non-farm payroll coming out in the next 10 minutes or so, should get a reaction out of that, but regardless of what that reaction is, there's a couple of big things going on here. We have an inside day in the ES. Okay, basically you could treat SPY the same. SPY did take out yesterday's high um, by a little bit, right? A couple of pennies, but I would still treat it as an inside day like I did with Righty the other day. That's number one. Number two, we have an inside week right now with a week to go. So this market is, again, getting is coiling. It's, it's at some point going to pop pretty good. The thing we have to uh, see is, is it an attempt and a fake at a breakout one way or the other prior to the Fed? If it does happen prior to Wednesday, um, or do we go uh, and get going one way or the other? Remember, you go with the inside day, you monitor it for continuation or lack of. If we take out the inside day, okay, it's still not the balance high. It's last Friday, right? That's the one we have to see. We've gotten up there a couple of times now, right, without any uh, success at that balance high. On the flip side, if we come out of the inside day to the downside, again, it's not Wednesday's low, it's last Thursday's low. That's not only the bottom of our 11-day balance, it's also last week's low. So again, everything's on the table here. If the sellers were aggressive, they can put the weekly back into balance. However, if the bulls are aggressive, we can come out of balance to the upside and continue the weekly up and get the daily back to up. Or we could certainly stay in this balance for another day or so. Um, NQ, different story. NQ is down on the weekly. They would have to take out last week's high to come back into balance. Righty, right now, pre-market, look at them. They're trading above yesterday's high, but again, just a balance for them, okay? It's basically a four-day balance, okay? So we'll see how they um, behave. I'll be recapping all of these charts um, tonight on the ETFs. So as far as the game plan, again, a lot could change at 8.30, so we'll see... Um, what happens but as of right now our wide point of control which was going to be a downside destination would be an upside so we'll see how that plays out but the bottom line is this whether we gap higher or lower if you come out of the inside day you go with it and monitor it for continuation or lack of if you don't you're gonna get a lot of chop inside of yesterday's range we had a 14 wide overnight pop so Good chance we couldn't migrate up to here. Look at all this business that was done here yesterday. Again, this is not an easy level to get through. Remember when we uh, had the distribution day down? We had a lot of trouble initially. Look at this, getting through here until finally, right? We, because we were holding the double distribution at the time, finally we had tr trouble going triple distribution till we finally worked through all this volume and um, at that level and went triple distribution, only to have it taken back yesterday. And then quickly on the chart. So here's our weekly, inside week. We'll see if it holds. Last week's high is 459.65, we're $2 away from that. Last week's low is 455.34. Guess what, we're $2 away from that. So um, there's a lot on the table today, uh, depending on if we have an uh, inside week or not. Um, with a range that small, you never know what we could do from last week. Daily, here it is. It's now a 11-day balance coming into today. The 20-day moving average continues to go up. It's almost at 452. So, um, a lot can happen today. Hopefully, we get good volume and range. Good luck trading today. And we'll recap the day and the week at 4 p.m.